Shalom Aleichem, and welcome back, friends and listeners, for a Dvar Torah, which is a kitzer of the Rebbe's Sicha, of Parshas Tetzalah. In this week's Parsha, we learn about the Big Day Kahuna, the special clothing designed for the Kayanim. One of the clothing of the Kayan Gadol was the Me'il, a special robe. This me'il had on its bottom rim golden bells and pomegranates. What is special about pomegranates and bells? So, pomegranates are representative of the Yidin who are, so to speak, empty. The Pasuk tells us that even the empty Yidin are full of mitzvahs like a pomegranate is full of seeds. Every day, the Kohen Gadol would do his avoda, his service in the Beis HaMikrash, wearing the Me'il. This means he would come along and represent with his avoda all types of Yidin, even those which are considered to be empty. And the, the bells were representative of the noise which is associated with the emptier Yidin. Because when somebody realizes that he's distant from Hashem and wants to come back, he may be doing so with a great storm. Just like a person who is drowning Chasushon or in a dangerous situation, it is likely that he will be escaping the situation with a great storm, so too somebody who realizes that he's distant will kick up a storm. On Yom Kippur, however, the Kohen Gadol would enter the Kodesh HaKadoshim, the holiest part of the Beis HaMikdash, without the Me'il, that, because on that day, all the Yidin are very close to Hashem, similar to, to Malachim, to the angels, and then there was no need to, specific, to, to specifically wear pomegranates and bells. And as a matter of fact, on that day, the service of Hashem was at a very high level, which was done quietly. So there's a time for quietness and a time for noise. And the noise represents the Baal Tshuva who is coming back to Hashem. One more aspect regarding noise, and that is on how we do outreach. The Rebbe encouraged that when we do the union of Hafatsa Samayanas and we do Miftzayim, we should do it with a bang. This is to counter the great bang of the secular culture referred to in the Gemara as Koyal HaMoyna Sharaymi, the great voice, the tumultuous voice of Rome. By using the very behavior of the clippus of, quote, Rome, we will bring about the Gula Shleima, and we will hear the great voice of the Shafer Gadol, with the coming of Mashiach, Nimheira Via Amen. Cult of